What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Outside the Levees. That's the name of my channel, and I am Jared Serenade. All right, today I'm trying to go catch some crawfish. I'm still looking for a good little crawfish hole, a little ditch somewhere, maybe even a bayou, a pond, just anything where I can go catch some of my own crawfish. I got a little area I want to go try today, so I've got my nets, I've got some bait, and I'm about to head down there and go see what I can catch, so we'll see y'all out there. All right, I'm going to show y'all the type of nets I'm using today. This is called a pyramid net. It's a very, very simple piece of equipment. Boom, it pops out like that, okay. They've got it tied here so that it creates just enough tension to stay open and then your nets connect down at the bottom of each of these rods. Very simple. You've got, uh, I'd say that's probably about 15 inches of net. 15 inch square and then you got a bait clip and for bait i'm using some rabbit parts some rabbit spines and different things from cleaning rabbits on a rabbit hunt let's go check these nets i've got a few out testing right now let's go see what we got so what you want to do is approach with a stick because once the crawfish see you they're not sticking around uh, we got one crawfish in this one He's so little he climbed out the net All right, let's put this one back. Let it keep fishing And what I've been doing is I use this end to kind of push it down Like that. All right, let's go check our next one Holy cow, that's what you like to pick up and see. That's what I'm talking about right there, y'all. That, that's a good net. A couple little guys. If we could get them all to, like that, we'll be doing all right. got some crawfish mostly small ones but we're catching catching a few right. that's what we're catching y'all red swamp crawfish like to see a few more bigger ones we got a few though. All right, well, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. When life gives you a few small crawfish, you turn them into catfish. I'm here on the banks of the Mississippi River, and I found a little pond, and I'm gonna try to catch some catfish using those little crawfish I caught. Let's see if these catfish are ready to bite. It's springtime, everything good is happening. I see blackberries everywhere, so we just need some catfish to up our meat ratio a little bit. All right, so we're going to take our crawfish here. I'm going to hook him right through the tail, just like that. All right, so we got a crawfish on a jig head with a little cork. Let's see what we can get. Got it. 
Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right. Guys, a catfish. Yes, sir. All right. All right, y'all. Got our first catfish on the day. Nice little channel cat. Here he is. Got him. All right. All right. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Get on up here. Get on up here. All right. There we go, y'all. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one, huh? All right. Well, we caught a few. I had a lot of them come off. I really don't know what that was all about. Uh, I was getting good hood sets on them, but unfortunately a few of them came off but i've got two nice catfish now i'm gonna go ahead and pick some of these blackberries on the walkout make sure i have some dessert to go with my catfish dinner i mean they got berries all over the place look at that look at these beautiful berries y'all yes indeed so these are actually called dewberries and they grow on briar bushes. They're not quite blackberries. They got these briar bushes that grow everywhere. And that's the dewberries that grow on them. How about that? Jack's got one. Whoa, this thing Get strong. him, Jack. Get him in, Jack. It's All right. Strong. Come up. Come up, Jack. Come up, Jack. Yeah. Oh, big one. Good job, Jack. I'm just going to get him over this log. There you go. Okay, now let me do it. Let me do it. All right, All right hold on. All right, you good. You good. You good. Stop. 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 What'd you say, Jack? Good. All right, folks. Well, you got to see it from catching the bait to catching the fish, picking the blackberries. We really are living off the land here on outside the levees. I do want to say now's a good time. If you want to pause the video real quick, go get some merch. If you look below this video, there's a merch grid and that will take you directly to my store where you can get t-shirts. So please, if you can, and you want to support the channel, go get you some merch right now. Pause the video, go do it, go get you a nice shirt and let me know what you got. All right, now I've got my blackberries ready. We're gonna go ahead and start a blackberry cobbler first. That's gonna be the first thing that we do because this will take the longest to cook. I've got about four cups of berries in this eight by eight dish here. What we wanna do first is just kinda of get probably about a quarter of that onto the berries. Spread throughout these berries. Go with a little bit more onto the berries. There we go. Now we're down to about a true cup here. Okay. All right, and we'll go ahead and bake. Get our oven set at 375. Go ahead and preheat that. And we'll let these berries sit for a little while with that sugar on them. Okay, into a bowl. Go ahead and with one cup of sugar and one cup of flour. Mix that up real good. Now into that, crack one egg. And go ahead and mix all that up real good. 
You want to get all of that mixed up good, good, good. All right, you should be able to tell that your egg has gone through all the flour and all the sugar in there that made this beautiful little crumble looking topping for the top of our cobbler. All right, now go ahead and put your topping over your blackberries. Spread it out smooth. And then we melted six tablespoons of butter and that all goes on top. Okay, now it's ready to go into the oven. All right, y'all, now, so for the catfish, I'm gonna do a fried catfish po' boy, but I'm trying this, this is something new. This is air fryer breading for fish that you can do in the air fryer. So I won't have to use oil or do any deep frying. So we're gonna try this, I've never tried it. So I don't know what we're gonna get. I've been wanting to try it. The good news is, even if it doesn't come out that great, it's going on a sandwich and the sandwich will cover up the rest. But let's go ahead and try this. I love uh, Louisiana brand, their crawfish boil seasoning. So let's try out their air fryer bread. Uh, hopefully this will be a little bit healthier and you know it's gonna go pretty good on a po' boy. So let's try this out. All right, so I rinsed off my fish. I left them fairly damp and then you go ahead and coat it with the air fryer mix. And then I'm going to drop them in the air fryer. I'm going to run it at 380 degrees for about eight minutes. Then I'm going to stop, check them, flip them over, and then let them go for about another five minutes from there. All right, y'all, now we want to go ahead and build out our po' boy. I'm using this Risings po' boy bread. If you're not from the Louisiana area and you're able to get French po' boy bread, let me know what y'all have. I'm curious to know how you guys are getting your hands on some good po' boy bread. All right, to dress a po' boy, that's what we call it, a dress po' boy, you wanna go ahead and get you some mayonnaise on it. Since it's fried fish, I wanna go ahead and also add some ketchup. I also wanna go ahead and add some Tabasco sauce. Next, we'll go with our tomatoes and our lettuce. Then on the bottom side, we'll go with our fish. Man, I really am happy with that air fryer fish. That is awesome. Pickles on fish. And there you have it. There's your fried air fryer catfish po' boy. How about that? Them old catfish had no idea what they were gonna get turned into. All right, y'all, there it is. Man, I love catching catfish from the bank. What a fun trip. Now let's try it out. Yes, indeed. Mm. If you do go ahead and make one of these, let me know. Shoot me an email, outside the levees at gmail.com. Also, just leave me a comment. Let me know. How did you like the show? How did you like the episode? You want to see more bank fishing, which when I did a live, everyone said they wanted to see more bank fishing. So that's what I'm going to start doing. Mmm. Gotta love a good po' boy. I hear that dewberry cobbler going off too. So that's what's coming up for dessert. Don't leave yet, because we gotta test that out too. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, there it is. There's my cobbler. I got the wonderful Blue Bell, best vanilla ice cream in the world. And we're gonna take some of that and get it on the cobbler. Oh, 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 look at that. Mm -hmm. All right, folks, there is that delicious dewberry cobbler from the banks of the Mississippi River. Don't get no better than that, huh? <whistles> Finished off that po' boy. Now it's time for dessert. Mm. Now what I love about this cobbler and doing it this way is that top gets super crunchy, whereas, you know, a lot of cobbler recipes uh, have a softer topping. You know, this one's crunchy. So you get that like crunchy and then the, the berry flavor, the sweet, the ice cream. Definitely want to serve it warm with the cold ice cream. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Well, folks, not much more to say than that. 
Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. We definitely love having you on the channel. Love having you a part of what I do. Uh, it's going to be a busy spring. Let me know what else you want to see. We can do lots more cat fishing, bank fishing. Uh, crabs should be coming back out. I'm here for y'all. So you let me know what you want to see. Leave me a comment, like the video, and we'll see y'all soon. Mm. Mm -mm -mm.